The closest star is over four light years away. At that distance, even the fastest spacecraft we've ever launched would take over 75,000 years to get there, if it were headed in the right direction. Launching from somewhere off Earth gets you more rocket performance, but even starting a Saturn V in space and putting everything into acceleration would still get you no faster than Voyager. Ion engines would do a bit better, but take a long time to accelerate to meaningful speeds. Gravity slingshots allow us to steal energy from planets as we swing by. In theory, many gravity slingshots could approach relativistic speeds, but practically in our solar system, the fastest we could get is about the escape velocity from Jupiter. A slingshot around a black hole could work, but having a conveniently placed black hole that close creates problems of its own. The fundamental problem is the more fuel you carry, the more fuel you have to push. There is a concept for a ship which would push nuclear bombs at the back and ride the detonation wave. This actually might work and would get you to the nearest star in maybe a hundred years or so. Or you could use no fuel at all and just sail to another star. The problem is interstellar space doesn't get much sunlight, so even tiny ships would take tens of thousands of years to reach another star. You could speed this up by beaming laser power to the ship, which could cut the travel time to a comfortable 50 years if you had a 100 kilometer sail and a 26,000 gigawatt laser. With thousands of times more energy than nuclear, antimatter sounds like a good option if you can solve the production, containment, and lethal gamma ray problem. Antimatter might get you to around half the speed of light, so a trip to the nearest star might take a decade or so, counting acceleration and deceleration times. Although there are very speculative ideas for a warp drive which could cut the travel time to mere days, these rely on the generation of negative energy, which may not even exist. Even if you got to another star, how would you communicate with Earth? Radio waves decline with the square of distance, and even sending messages back from Pluto is challenging. Laser communications offer a huge advantage, but still requires more power at that distance than we're capable of generating. Surprisingly, physical mail packets using tiny probes stuffed with computer memory might actually be a good solution because it avoids the problem of signal loss. One of the funny problems about going to another star is unless you can get there within about 50 years or so, you might as well not bother. This is because waiting 50 years will get you to a level of technology where you can get there sooner than that ship you launched 50 years ago. Getting to another star in a practical time frame seems to be beyond our level of technology. For now, it seems like the best option is to become spacefaring in our own solar system first and use that as a technological stepping stone to get to other stars.